Matthew Barzel may not be one of the biggest names when it comes to young hockey rookies, but he's a talented forward who's more than ready to show his utility as the Islanders' second-line center. In October 2016, Barzel made his NHL debut with the Islanders, but didn't bring much to the table. The THE and 19-year-old recorded zero points and six penalty minutes in two games. Islanders fans will likely remember the interference call after he touched the puck while sitting in the box. After that less than perfect start he was returned to the Seattle Thunderbirds of the WHL, where he served as the minor league team's captain. He finished the 201,617 all season with 79 points 10 goals, 69 assists along with a 20 penalty minutes and a PLUS 32 rating with the Thunderbirds, who went on to win the 2017 WHL championship. Accordingly, he was named the WHL Playoff MVP after tallying 25.7 goals, 18 assists in 16 postseason games. All eyes on Barzil it seems like Barzil may be closing in on an Islanders roster spot sometime soon. When asked if he had done enough to make the roster, head coach Doug Waite gave TS and a simple yes. Wade also said that adding Barzil and Josh Hasang to the power play unit could provide the team with a spark this season. Matthew Barzil one of the top, of sized forwards available for the 2015 NHL draft. Photo Christopher Mast especially with their skill set, you use the word dynamic, and it's so quick, Waite told Newsday. Both of them have the playmaking ability and the vision to make those plays. I think you've found a couple times today that they found some guys who maybe weren't ready for it, and that's something we've got to get used to. Those guys are distributors, and they're going to find the open men. With three goals so far this postseason, Barzil currently leads the Islanders. His latest goal came against the Devils on September 25, while on the team's top power play unit. Why the Islanders must consider Barzil The Islanders picked up a 31 win in a preseason road game against the Sabres at Key Bank Center on September 29. There were a couple of noteworthy takeaways from the game Jordan Eberle's beautiful first goal as an Islander Anders Lee's first goal of the preseason Jaroslav Halak's almost perfect performance and Barzil's team high three assists. Barzil continues to prove the Islanders why he belongs with the blue and orange. He currently leads the team with seven points, three goals, four assists in five preseason games thus far. He said that he feels more comfortable as the camp goes on and the Islanders are building chemistry. He got along with veteran forwards Andrew Ladd and Josh Bailey on the team's top power play unit Friday. Photo Andy Marlin News at Today Sports I thought everyone had a little bit of chemistry with everybody, so it was just nice to come in here and get a win, Barzil told Corey Wright of NHL.com. They were playing a lot of their starters, so it felt a bit like an NHL game. Wade placed Barzil on the first line between Andrew Ladd and Jordan Eberle in the Islanders' final preseason game against the Flyers on October 1. Fans witnessed the action among the two rival teams in the second period. Brandon Manning hit Barzil from behind, but Josh Hasang defended his fellow teammate by roughing up the perpetrator. Jack of Thorasek also slashed Barzil in the final seconds of the period. Barzil picked up his fourth assist of the preseason as his pass paved its way to Anthony Beauvillier, who one-timed it into the net on the power play for his second goal of the game early in the third period. The Islanders eventually won the Akshan Pact game, 52, over the Flyers. Bottom line is, the Islanders must consider Barzil because he's an offensive-minded forward with tremendous skating abilities. He's a solid two-way player who can help the team jumpstart its offense as a second-line center. Up next the Islanders open the 201,718 NHL regular season against the Blue Jackets at Nationwide Arena Friday night. Puck drop is at 700 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on MSG and FSOH.